Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about Riverpod generator. Before moving to the topic of Riverpod generator, we need to understand what are the problems we face when we create the providers manually. If we create lot of providers manually, then it is error prone. Second is when we create the providers manually, it is not auto disposable. To make it disposable, we need to use the auto dispose modifier. Third, when we use the family modifier, it can take only one parameter. And if we want to pass multiple parameters, then we need to create custom class or we need to use third party library. All these problems can be solved with the help of Riverpod generator. If we use Riverpod generator, then the providers will be generated automatically based on the function signature. How it will be done that I will discuss later on. The providers which are created with the help of Riverpod generator are auto disposable and the family modifiers can take multiple parameters including positional one. Now let me show you how we can use Riverpod generator. Here I have created this project and in the pubspec.yml I have taken here flutter riverpod dependency, riverpod annotation dependency and in dev dependencies I have taken riverpod generator and build runner. All these versions are the latest versions. Now in main.dart the root widget that is my app is wrapped with provider scope and in the home property of material app here I have used a widget that is home page. In the lib folder, I have created a file named as home page and in the home page, you can see I have created a class home page, which is extending consumer widget, which is provided by Flutter Riverpod. And in the scaffold in the body, I have taken a text widget, which is wrapped inside the center widget. Now here, first of all, I will create a provider, the first type of provider actually that is provider manually. And after that, I will show you how can we achieve the same with the help of Riverpod generator. Let's start. Here I am creating a provider named as name provider and what type of provider I am using provider and it will have the type as string. After that it will take a ref which is of type provider ref and it will return the value as Amar. Now inside the build method I need to watch the provider. So I am declaring a variable final name equals to ref dot watch. And here I will pass the name of the provider that is name provider. And after that in this text widget here I will use name. Now let me save this. Once I save this and if I can show you the output then you can see Amar has been displayed here. Now I will achieve the same thing but with the help of provide uh, riverpod generator. Let me comment this. Now to use the riverpod generator, we need to create a function. Here I am giving the function name as name. Now when the provider will be generated, it will have the name as name provider means the function name will be suffixed with provider. Hence I have given the function name as name. And this function will have the return type as string as I have specified here. And here it is taking a ref parameter here I will pass as name ref name why I have given name because the function name is name and the ref will be suffixed now from where this name ref will come that I will discuss later on let me give its name as ref and this function will return what this function will return Amar and I need to annotate and I need to use here the Riverpod annotation. So here I am using Riverpod. And from where I am getting this Riverpod, I am getting this from the Riverpod annotation. Now I need to move to terminal and in the terminal here I need to run a command. I need to write dart run build runner watch enter. Now it will take some time.
and once we get this message succeeded this means this command has done its task now here i need to write part and here i will write home underscore page dot g dot dot once i write this then you can see all the error has gone now when we use this at the rate river pod and when we run this command then actually you can see in the leaf folder another file has been generated home underscore page dot g dot dot which i am using here this file actually contains the code for the auto generated provider you can see the provider is created with the name name provider and it is auto disposable and the ref name is name ref that's why here i have used name ref and the provider name is name provider that's why we are not getting any error and if i hot restart this then you can see we are getting the same output now the provider which is created is auto disposable but suppose i want that the provider will not be auto disposable at that time here i need to use keep alive and i will make it true by default it is false now if i save this now after that if i go to the home page and if we analyze the code then you can see now this provider is not auto disposable because here in keep alive i have specified true so by default keep alive is false and if keep alive is true this means the provider is not auto disposable this is how we can use river pod generator to generate the provider but the river pod generator has some limitation the first limitation is code generation this means extra file will be generated and which will be included in your project this is the first limitation second limitation is that not all providers are supported the providers which are supported are provider future provider stream provider notifier provider and async notifier provider the state provider change notifier and state notifier provider are not supported these are the limitations of river pod generator in the next video i will discuss how we can use a river pod generator to generate a future provider that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching